иногда вот еще что не согласен как бы отношению товарища, например, к десятке. А иногда как бы вот нет я. Sometimes when you disagree with uh, some attitudes towards the ten in the towards the friends in the ten, maybe sometimes there isn't such a clear misunderstanding, but there's just the feeling that you don't want to connect. And how to start searching for these contrasts and well, the simplest thing is to shut your eyes and do the opposite. As much as you are rejected from the friends, here you need to play, to act in connection. And then you will see that this uh, game, this acting, it's actually something serious and it will pull you to relations of connection. But in these relations of connection, you must also not forget about the hatred that you had before, the rejection. So then when we compose each and every of our states in such a mature way, both the negative and the positive, both the hatred and the love, then we are truly standing on both legs. Normalmente las decenas procuran mantener un ambiente de fraternidad, un ambiente amigable. En ese ambiente se puede... Usually in the tents, there is an environment of warmth and fellowship. Políticamente correctos. Is it possible for hatred to awaken in such an atmosphere? It's like an environment where everyone's politically correct. Oh, politically correct, it's bad. You realize it's a lie. If you will start to connect more tightly with each other, you will discover that you don't want to. And then you will discover that your ego is hindering you from uh, coming closer to one another. And you're listening to your ego and automatically you are holding on to a certain state, a certain place of what distance can I have from the other in order to keep the peace, to keep normal, good relations, but it's not good. We need to reach connection as one man with one heart. So please try to be a little tighter with one another, even inside of the friend's heart, try to get in there. And then you will see how much here you have rejection and lack of understanding, lack of desire, and truly it's a dangerous state. And then you will have to work on it in a serious way.